personal productivity um, is something I've been looking at and reading about uh, recently. I've always been interested in in how we can create or how we can increase and improve our productivity all the time. Uh, as a, from uh, an engineer in lean manufacturing and theory constraints into Six Sigma, working with manufacturing right up to that exact level of how we can drive performance, at personal and on a business level. Uh, one of the things that I, I've been reading is Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Uh, 21 aspects of increasing or what 21 ideas of increasing your, your personal productivity, which actually got me thinking around or bringing me back to our, when I was trained as an engineer and also in lean manufacturing and theory constraints around how we tackle a problem. Uh, and one of the things is, is if we have a goal and we want need to achieve that goal, there is a, uh, is a constraint that's stopping us. There is a choke point that is stopping us achieving it. If there wasn't, we'd already be there. So we need to understand exactly what that choke point is, what that constraint is, and solve it. Now, that may be that we, we need to buy a uh, resource in to help us do that, or we need to upskill ourselves in getting over the hurdle. It may be that we need to employ somebody. But the, first of all, we need to ascertain what that choke point, that bottleneck is that's stopping us to achieve our goal. That's one of the main things that we need to look at. The other side of one of the things that I've uh, I've used for past 18 months now is time blocking. So here you can see Monday to Friday, you can see the hours of work I've blocked out where I'm actually uh, have got no spare time. Friday is actually out for me as well now. Um, and in here, I actually put in the projects that I'm going to do. And I consistently do project if I've got five projects. I do project one and I complete project one, 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 and then I move on to two. So there's no shift and no swapping between projects as well. They say that for every shift, every context switch, uh, switch that you do, it takes us about 17 minutes to reorientate ourselves back to what we were thinking about. So if you're skipping from email to LinkedIn to news, uh, uh, back in then into your project, each one of those is a context switch and to reset your brain takes about 17 minutes. So it's a big no-no. Turn everything off, turn your notifications off and do the project. Uh, one hour at a time, have a break, then come back to it and go straight back into it again. But make sure you get it done and apply that 80-20 rule to the projects you're looking at. So 20% of the projects will deliver 80% of the the main value added things that we need to, to have within the business. So really, really do assess your projects.